So how we know the energy of a hydrogen atom in the ground state is negative 13.6 electron volts. But we know this information from uh, Bohr's model of the hydrogen atom. So according to Bohr's model of a hydrogen atom, um, and again, this, this model only worked for the hydrogen atom. Uh, once we get to more complicated systems, since in hydrogen, uh, we only have one proton, one electron. Uh, since in hydrogen, that's the only case that that's true. That's the only case where Bohr's model actually worked since it was working off of classical conservation of energy um, and angular momentum. So his model stated that the eigen, uh, or the energy state is equal to negative uh, 2 pi squared times e to the fourth, where e is the charge of an electron, times k squared times m sub e divided by h squared, where h is Planck's constant. And then this is multiplied by 1 over n squared. But for the hydrogen atom in the ground state, n is equal to 1. Therefore, e sub 1 is equal to negative, just plugging those constants in and plugging in n equals 1, negative 13.6 electron volts. So uh, the Bohr's model has predicted that the total energy of the hydrogen atom is negative. This is because it's a bound state. If it wasn't negative, the atom would blow apart. So it's attractive. That's why it's negative. Um, and the radius of the atom uh, comes from the idea that the smallest radius of orbit, which we call it Bohr's radius, uh, is this atomic size, this value um, right here in the parentheses. So that is why it's negative 13.6 EV.